Welcome to Commander Pop Culture, a place to gather magical information with some laughs, might I add. Did the player on the right quit already? <laughs> this commander's not even here. You really have to work on the mana production side of things if you really want to make copies of stuff, because like adding that two is a really mana taxing thing. And I purposely built my deck really low to the ground so I could cast multiple things and tack on the, uh, the tax. Not the benevolent bodyguard. The reason why I'm playing him now instead of later in pursuing the token is I want protection for my Zinnia to play it on curve and I don't want to miss out on that. I have 38 creatures in the deck, so like missing a trigger is not a big deal. I feel like there are folks out there that'll be playing this deck and they'll just pearl clutch their creatures no matter what because they are pursuing that uh, offspring trigger a little bit too hard. No, no, you're still holding on. Let's go! I don't really need this. All right, let's plug my buddy over here <laughs> for one damage. He's open and I smell blood in the water. Basim Ib Ishak. I probably butchered that name. The top and bottom ability combo really well with each other. He casts a historic spell, he draws a card, and then uh, he can't be blocked. And then when he does damage to someone, he puts a counter on him. So it's like a self-feeding engine. I don't think there is a, a Demir historic deck that's out either. So that's kind of a unique thing that Demir has never done before. You're playing Elsha the Infinite, huh? I guess I'm not in a rush to play this yet. I think I'll play the other guy instead. Now I get past the uh, summoning sickness issue that I would have. Take the left player, he's drawing a card. We don't like people who draw more cards than us. Take three, you dastardly ne'er-do-well. I could play this card now, but I don't meet the requirement yet, so I'd just be throwing out something that doesn't need to be thrown out yet. That's why I went with this instead. And it was ultimately better for multiple reasons. My bounty hunt is gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you one way. Mr. Coupons. Oh, you have enough mana for Elsha. Oh, face for war. That's pretty sick. I haven't seen a face for war play in a long time. Wow. Played a lot of things over there. We want some land. Hey, ask and you shall receive. Um, right, right. For your crimes against humanity. We'll go that way. Thought I was going to trade with that. No way. Nur -ur. Oh, nice. This is a unique uh, factor fiction for three mana. The trick with these kinds of cards is you split the two best cards and you go down the line. I guess we separate the two card advantage pieces. So the Sig and the Etrada have to go away. We'll put the Dowsing Dagger with the Etrada because it's more expensive. Make his hand a little clunky. Take them beats. I'm in a nice little position here because I don't have to use my bounty agent anytime soon. I'm okay with this man drawing one card. Uh, unfortunately, my buddy over here on the right, he has access to the top of his library from his command zone. He will catch up to him in cards really soon if he gets to keep his commander in play. So, unfortunately, I'm going to keep him under my thumb and make him do other things. Or he'll have to force me to use this. Paradoxical outcome. <laughs> five cards. I guess I take away the thing that nets you mana here. Or the coupon. Coupon's probably better. It goes a lot further. And I deny him a card. I mean, coupons go really far in um, eggs decks. His goal is to get his commander in play and make things cost zero and he just plays a lot of cards. If he finds his divining top, he could go infinite. Kills us with uh, cast triggers because his commander has prowess and top is a uh, one mana spell and he Reduces it to zero with Foundry Inspector. Mystic Forge maybe doesn't even need his commander now. He gets two shots at manipulating the top of his library with the uh, Mystic Forge and the Codex Shredder now. Just needs top and he wins the game here. I don't know if he runs top because my buddy, he doesn't like two card combos. That doesn't make his deck any less lethal though. He uh, has plenty of ways in there to kill us, I'm sure. <laughs> So sister, so sister. He's been playing this list for a long time. Uh, he's been playing this commander since we were roommates in the military together. I got five fives coming. Xenia's an eight three now too. We're just gonna we're gonna dick punch my friend over there. <sighs> my dragon master is online too. No mercy. A little hard for me to play around. 
since he's at 36 life. Yeah, there are a lot less politics online because the only way we can communicate with each other is normally through chat. Unless you're playing like with a group of four guys that you all know and you're in one Discord channel, then there's a lot more politicking. I would say uh, MTGO is a lot more ruthless. The social aspect kind of goes out the window a little bit. In person, people are much better about keeping their opinions to themselves, even bitching and moaning. And then it's the inverse on here because uh, we're all complete strangers to each other and people will just say whatever is on their mind. If anything, you get an honest opinion. In terms of difference, it's the, the positives that are really lucrative. Like the cost of cards are dirt cheap. Like I bought 44 cards for 15 bucks a moment ago just to play tonight. And then um, I could play from the comforts of my own home whenever I feel like it. Which is convenient for me because I have two kids. More or less healthy for the format? I think it's healthy. I think if you want to build a CDH list, this is the best place to test that metal. The bitch and moaning at your house, that's a good taste though. No one's actually angry. Everyone's just having fun. And it's more of a joke, <laughs> I feel like. Bitching and moaning and like giving people crap, it's an art form and you should only do it when it's amongst people you know. Banter is the word I was looking for. You don't do banter with a complete stranger because they could take it personally. Open the vaults, that's pretty scary. Oh yes, turn on my dragons, baby. It's gonna get weird. Two dragons. Give them to me. I don't know the last time I've got a dragon mancer outcast. Trigger. Ooh, Moonshaker Cavalry. Ooh, I got there. If it's any consolation, I'm gonna kill you both right here. <laughs> Spread the love. I don't know how many removal spells people have. I'll dedicate three to each of you. Just to make sure you're good and dead. Oh God, sweating here. <laughs> okay, that was deck two of tonight. Well, I'm glad you got to see it win, even though you lost in the process. I know you like this commander a lot. Maybe got some notes from going over the tech and seeing the game of play of it. I hope you liked it.